Hey you guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a few days, let me tell you, because I have literally just found a few minutes to sit down and give you guys an update. I had no idea that this week was going to be so crazy hectic. As soon as my head hit the, hits that pillow at night, I am out. I am so busy from the minute I get up until the minute I go to bed. And that is from like seven till midnight every day so far this week. And it's already Thursday. So let's go ahead and kind of give you guys a little update. I am, um, I'm fasting and I'm okay. Uh, the heat is definitely contributing to a lot of headaches. The screen time is definitely contributing to a lot of headaches and tiredness. The um, C California state is surrounded by over 367 wildfires and we have one to the north and one to the south and I think one to the east. So our entire city is like blanketed in smoke. So we have to take our fans in and out of the windows, which contributes to a lot of headaches. It being hot, sweltering, smoke inhalation. It's horrible over here. I started my teaching credential this week. I have three classes, which they are jamming 16 weeks of classes into eight weeks. So I'm doing triple the work. I have to also have Zoom meetings and everything with my resource team at the school so that we can figure out scheduling. We had two weeks. Uh, to figure out schedules during the regular school year, but this year they decided to give us one week. We have uh, over 40 students to figure out schedules for when we're gonna pop into their Zoom meetings, when we're going to do their uh, pull out for resource, when we're going to do our push-ins for their class time and help them with their work. Uh, on top of figuring out when they're all at break, uh, recess, PE, lunchtime, when they're supposed to be doing uh, independent work, when they're in breakout rooms. It is a nightmare. And I have no idea how we're gonna do it, but that's kind of life and that's what we're dealing with right now. That's why I haven't been able to provide you guys with an update. I, I think it's definitely helping to, for me to be so busy so that I'm not really thinking about food. So that part is really good. I haven't even had a chance to sit down and think about what I'm gonna have this weekend for my refeed, but you know, it is what it is. I'll find time sometime. But I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to start a kind of mini series called Keto Conversations. I did not come up with that name, but my kind of partner in crime in this whole 10 week, five two fasting protocol uh, is Michael Rucker. As you guys have heard me uh, mention him, if you guys are in the AHA family, you guys know this. Uh, but he started yesterday, we started a video, a live video that was basically keto connections or keto conversations. That's what it was. And some people asked some questions and I kind of wanted to address that in a separate video. So that's what I'm going to do. There were some pretty great questions and I think I'm going to do this weekly as questions come up so that I can provide you guys with answers. Maybe not everybody saw the whole entire video or not everybody saw the questions. So I just wanted to address those. There's four of them. So let's get to it. First thing, uh, can you take, and I don't know if it's Golgi or Goli apple cider vinegar gummies while you're on a water fast. That's a really good question. I see it all the time. The simple answer is no, because water fast is water only. It's a personal choice what you take, supplements, vitamins, minerals, gummies. Um, it's definitely a personal choice. However, you should know that each gummy has 3.5 grams of carbs and it also has 15 calories. So if you take the recommended daily amount, which is one to two gummies three times per day, you're getting up to six gummies. Now, if you do the math for that, at the very most, you're gonna be getting over 20 grams of carbs and about 90 calories, give or take, um, in just those little gummies. So um, in terms of keto, it is not keto friendly. The tapioca syrup and the cane sugar kind of null it from that. So it is not keto friendly. It is um, low carb as far as per one gummy, it only being 3.5 grams of carbs. 
but they add up you guys so I personally would um, just stay away from them if you can stomach the apple cider vinegar that's fine but that's also another thing I kind of wanted to address with this question because I've been fasting for over a year now and I have very rarely Molly's walking around on the bed sorry she keeps bumping the table um, I have very rarely had to have apple cider vinegar now I know that it has its own you know intestinal and gut bacteria benefits but if you don't have to take it you don't have to take it it's not something that's required so personal choice keto it's not so much keto so um, and then the other thing she asked was is oh consistency is how do you stay consistent um, and consistency is really a choice and it's something that you have to make the decision about over and over and over so um, it does also take some time to build up to so really try and get those micro goals managed first and that will kind of help you with your consistency so go for a 24 hours but do that consistently so do 24 hours if you need to do a meal do a meal but then do 24 hours which is really good thing when we're doing the 5-2 it's consistent so five five days water fast two days refeed five days water fast two days refeed five days water fast two days refeed 24 hour fast eat 24 hour fast eat do that consistently and then move it to 36 hours fast eat 36 hours fast sometimes it takes a little while to build up to the longer and longer fast and that's totally okay start where you feel comfortable go for as long as you can but try and do that as consistent as you can and it will help your overall consistency with fasting uh, another question we got was what to do about headaches and the thing is is that there are multiple factors that go into headaches and so I can't just say oh take some Himalayan pink sea salt and you'll be fine when you're fasting in the beginning the first couple of days are gonna be hell and you're gonna go through those withdrawal symptoms and often more times than not the headache is related to that and you just kind of have to push through it other times you might find that you're stressed out you have lack of sleep maybe it's hot maybe it's smoky outside um, maybe you've been in the computer in front of the computer too too long that day there there's many different factors so you need to kind of pinpoint what the source is so if you are just in the first couple of days of water fasting or fasting in general it's probably just a detox symptom you can supplement with electrolytes if you really have to my advice is try and push through without anything maybe get some extra sleep do some meditating you can add some sea salt to your water if you need to or simply on you know a little bit on your tongue uh, people swear by that it does not help me personally so if I have a really gnarly headache I end up taking medicine that's just what works for me I have tried every other thing um, before medication and it just does not work so if you have to take medication to get rid of your headache if sleep doesn't help if cold compress doesn't help if ice on your head doesn't help then feel free to take some medication if you have to if that's what's gonna help you push through um, let's see what else oh and the other thing too was what to eat on refeeds now I have covered this personally a couple of different times but a lot of people that is one of the most generic and um, commonly asked question so what do you do on your refeed and again it's different for everybody Michael and myself we push for keto OMAD or keto low carb uh, whatever you can do on the weekends and the reason is you don't want to get back into stuffing your face full of food the OMAD will kind of go um, be easier on your stomach and there won't be as much to digest if you would just start eating regularly so that's why the OMAD then that's one meal a day for those of you guys who don't know then keto or low carb is going to keep it to where your body doesn't have to break down and process so many carbs you're going to be getting tons of veggies leafy greens um, also the healthy fats are there to help keep you full until you know your next OMAD the next day and it's also really good because it helps your body heal from the inside out with the OMAD you're going to be doing um, 
say 23 hours of fasting anyway, so it will help you to continue losing weight even through your re refeeds. If you happen to gain anything through your refeeds, it is not fat, you guys. It is just glycogen restores and just water retention and things like that as your body gets used to the food and having to start digesting it again and then everything will kind of settle as you go back into your next water fast. So hopefully that answered some questions that you guys had on our Keto Conversations video. If you guys are in the AHA family, you guys can check out that video that Michael and I did um, on last night, so Wednesday night, and that was the 19th. Days are blending together here, sorry. But um, hopefully you guys will check that out. If, if you guys ever have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to help you. Fasting, low carb, juice fasting, um, OMAD, anything like that, just let me know. And I am here to help you encourage you, motivate you, support you, keep you going. All right, guys, I will check in my next video. I'm not too sure when. Hopefully I get a breather here pretty soon, but uh, it's pretty hectic figuring out schedules. So I will let you guys go. I will see you in my next update video. I will definitely see you this weekend for the refeed. I'm hoping that while thing is, things are kind of calm right now, maybe I can go through and see what I'm going to pick for my OMADs and then I'll end it, um, I'll put it at the end of this video. So I'll see you then, look out for my OMADs.